Hello Earthlings, I'm Adam the Alien. You are watching Adam the Alien and today is... I have no idea what the date is. Oh, you just really screwed that up. Now this video is doomed! Well, that's okay. I can just try again. No! Do or do not! There is no Try again! Do or do not. There is no try. My friend Bobby, aka the Me Fund, link in the doobly-doo, has made a number of videos lately talking about how people should generally live their lives and perceive the world. So part of the way I deal with disillusionment is basically to lower my expectations. If you want to do something, do it. Put your full energy behind it. The point is, it's not a bad thing to fail. It just is what it is. And that is all wonderful and great, but there are a few points we disagree on. One of these points is that, you know, as much as I love the little green guy, and as badass as he is, I believe that Yoda was wrong. Something both Bobby and Yoda go in for is the idea that there is no try. For me, when I say I'm going to try something, it means that I'm going to do something on a temporary basis and thus not put my full investment and full self behind it. I agree with the concept that they're going for, that you really have to put your whole heart behind something. And it is true, you shouldn't go into anything being like, oh, I'm just gonna half-ass this because it doesn't matter, I'm not really doing it, I'm just trying it. But I actually disagree with the very nature of what trying is. You see, to me, if you're trying something, you're not half-assing it. If you're half-assing something, you're half-assing it. That's not trying, that's specifically not trying. That is the opposite of trying. To me, if you are truly trying something, you are putting your all into it. If you're not putting your all into it, you have no right to say that you tried. Now, the real problem with the do or do not mentality is that it completely negates the idea that if you fail, you can try again. A point Bobby made in one of his recent videos that I completely agree with is that from a very early age, we're taught to not fail. Or that it's just not okay to fail. Our education system right now is based on a series of wins. You just aren't allowed to fail. And I just don't think that's good enough. Now the trouble is, things don't always work right the first time you try them. To me, the idea of trying something is saying, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put my whole heart into it. And if it doesn't work, it's okay. It's okay. I can do it again a different way. I can, I can try it and I can try something else until the result I get is the one I wanted. With do or do not, either you did it or you didn't do it. And that can lead to a really, really depressing mindset. I think that's one of the reasons I hate standardized testing. There's only one right answer and one wrong answer. There's no in-between. I think ultimately Bobby, Yoda, and I all agree on the general principle of how life should be lived and how things should be approached, but we disagree drastically on the semantics. For instance, Bobby recently talked about approaching things without expectation, without expecting to succeed without expecting something to be easy. And while it's true that failure is not a bad thing and that you can continue to work at what you want and it will be more difficult than you initially anticipated, I disagree in that I think you should expect that you will succeed. You shouldn't expect that it won't be hard work, but you should expect that ultimately you will get what you want as long as you continue to try. Try different ways of doing it. Keep trying. Just because you didn't get the result you wanted the first time does not mean you shouldn't keep trying for that result. You just don't stop. You can't give up on the things that you hope would happen. I don't know how much of this has made sense, but hopefully the point that you've gotten is that everything should be done with full commitment, full heart, and just everything you've got to throw at it. But you shouldn't let it get you down if instead of doing, you end up do notting because ultimately you've learned something and the next time you try you might just do do or do not you aren't gonna do until you try so stick that in your craw yoda and everybody else fare thee well